$3 a gallon. Can you believe it? It seems like nothing hits the American psyche harder than high gas prices. And those prices have jump-started small car sales to their best levels in over a decade. So there's no better time than now for a closer look at the latest in fuel-efficient subcompact cars. It's a whole new car world out there, and one where being small is no longer a shortcoming. New choices among small cars have really taken off in the last year. But just being small doesn't give you the big picture. Even an efficient subcompact has to be comfortable and safe. So we put seven of the newest subcompact cars through the ringer to give you an idea on how much gas and cash they can save you and at what expense. While some of the cars had manual transmissions and other automatics, we evaluated all seven in similar very hot weather and measured fuel economy over routes through Maryland and Pennsylvania that included open highway, country roads, and urban gridlock. First out of the gate was the all-new for 2006 Hyundai Accent sedan that is longer and wider than before. The likewise roomier interior has plenty of standard features, including six airbags, making it a safety leader of the subcompact class. Power comes from a new 1.6-liter dual-cam four-cylinder with 110 horsepower and 106 pound-feet of torque. Transmission choices are a five-speed manual or our car's four-speed automatic. That combination draws government fuel economy ratings of 28 city, 36 highway. Our result fell right in line at 33 miles per gallon of regular gas. With prices starting as low as $12,995, the Hyundai Accent sedan is a good car to consider if saving gas is your goal. Next up is Kia's all new for 2006 Rio 5. Kia is now a subsidiary of Hyundai, so this much more refined new Rio is built on the Accent's platform. Our test Rio 5 five-door hatchback is powered by the same 1.6-liter dual cam 4 as its cousin. In Kia trim, it makes 110 horsepower and 107 pound-feet of torque with our car's five-speed manual or the optional four-speed automatic. We found the interior of the Rio 5 both accommodating and very versatile. It too is well equipped, including standard side curtain airbags. Our Rio 5, with its five-speed manual, has government fuel economy ratings of 32 city, 35 highway. But on our test loop, 31 miles per gallon of regular gas was all we managed. Still, with its high content and five-door flexibility, along with reasonable prices starting at $14,330, the Rio 5 is an appealing small drive. Korean nameplates are making big gains in the subcompact market, but Japanese brands are still the benchmarks. And the latest from giant Toyota is the diminutive 2007 Yaris sedan. A more sophisticated successor to the homely Echo, the Yaris is one of the slickest looking small sedans on the road. Its tall, airy interior also reminds you of much larger cars and has typical Toyota-level excellent fit and finish. But while air conditioning is standard, a radio is not. Curtain airbags are also an option. The RS drivetrain is a 1.5-liter twin-cam 4 with 106 horsepower and 103 pound-feet of torque. Tranny choices are our car's 5-speed manual or an optional 4-speed automatic. The manual gives the Yaris government fuel economy ratings of 34 city, 40 highway, and us an impressive 39 mile per gallon test loop on regular fuel. With economy like that and a low base price of $12,505, the Toyota Yaris sedan is already a big small car success. Honda has sold a few small cars in its day as well, and their newest subcompact is the 2007 Fit. Edgier and sportier than its competitors, the tall fit is way larger inside than its exterior suggests. And like all Hondas, extremely well equipped with curtain airbags, ABS, and second row magic seat that folds flat up or into a recliner. The fit gets around thanks to a 1.5 liter single overhead cam engine with 109 horsepower and 105 pound feet of torque. Both manual and auto trannies are five speeds. Our automatic fit sport also adds F1 style paddle shifters, which allowed us to really bang through the gears. So equipped, our fit's government fuel economy ratings are 31 city and 37 highway. We met that measure with 36 miles per regular gallon in our test. 
For prices starting at $14,445, the Honda Fit is one impressive small car. Of course, Nissan has turned out a few fine subcompacts of its own, and their latest is the 2007 Versa. This small but tall city car is built on a platform shared with corporate parent Renault. It pushes the wheels way to the corners to maximize interior space. This gives our Versa five-door hatchback a cabin that's a full six feet long and the largest of our lot. Air and curtain airbags are standard. The Versa engine also rates big. This 1.8 liter dual cam four with 122 horsepower and 127 pound-feet of torque. With its optional continuously variable automatic, a six-speed manual is standard. It yields government fuel economy ratings of 30 city and 36 highway. And on our test loop did indeed deliver a fine 35 miles per gallon of regular. With mileage like that, big room and a base price of $13,055, the Nissan Versa hatchback looks like a big bargain in a small car. Suzuki has delivered its share of competent small cars over the year, and this 2006 Reno continues that trend. Our five-door hatchback sports racy Euro design lines and a high level of build quality. It also boasts a two-liter twin cam four with 126 horsepower and 131 pound-feet of torque, making it the power leader of our lot. While a four-speed automatic is available, our Reno standard six-speed manual delivers modest government fuel economy ratings of 23 city and 30 highway. On our loop, it's 25 miles per gallon was the lowest in our test. Reno prices start at $13,879. It's another good effort by Suzuki, but it's also up against some very serious competition. The car that gets credit for starting the current subcompact boom is the Daewoo-made Chevrolet Aveo. It sold well even before $3 a gallon gas. Revamped for 2007, this Korean import sedan is longer, wider, and much more refined than before, and much more upscale inside, with our LT boasting the wood look and feature list of a luxury car. Front side impact airbags are standard, but curtain airbags are not. Power is from a 1.6 liter dual overhead cam four with 103 horsepower and 107 pound-feet of torque. Gearboxes are a standard five-speed manual or our tester's four-speed automatic. With the auto, the Aveo sedan earns government fuel economy ratings of 26 city and 34 highway. Our test returned a modest 26 miles per gallon of regular. So here the Aveo has to play catch up. But with so many features and the group's best highway ride, the Aveo sedan's base price of $12,395 still makes it a serious segment contender. So if you're in a gas-saving mood, you don't have to pinch on features. Indeed, the new crop of subcompacts have few shortcomings, delivering lots of smiles with their miles. Well, I hope you'll join us next week for more Motor Week when we'll test Suzuki's seven-seat XL7 crossover. I'm John Davis. We'll see you then. To learn more about MotorWeek, television's original automotive magazine, visit pbs.org. To order a DVD or VHS copy of this program, call 1-800-873-6154. MotorWeek has been brought to you by Cars.com. Let's say you're looking for a car. Cars.com can help. Research, locate, even contact a dealer. Cars.com. Find the right car for you. And by Dunlop Tires. The search for true performance is part of our heritage. Dunlop is proud to present the Dunlop Drivers Cup, where amateurs from around the world compete head-to-head -head in on- and off-road competitions. Information at DunlopTires.com. And by The Tire Rack offering a wide selection of tires, wheels, and more with professional advice and online shopping tools, plus a national network of tire rack recommended installers. And by the Stanley Works, makers of MaxLife 369 tripod illumination tools. Stanley is proud to support public television. Stanley makes something great. Information available at www.stanleyworks.com. This program was produced by Maryland Public Television, which is solely responsible for its content.